And welcome everyone to the Viking Weekend channel. I am your host and mighty chieftain, Salty Viking. I hope you're all having a great day today. And uh, it is a big weekend for WWE. We have Night of Champions today. And then tomorrow we're going to have NXT Battleground. And we're going to be doing the predictions for that. Um, there are six matches on the card. And this is going to be, and I think this is going to be a uh, good, a great event. Stand and Deliver was a phenomenal event as well. And uh, they're going to be continuing on with Battleground. This is the first, uh, you know, premier, you know, premium live event that NXT is doing after the draft. And uh, they lost some big ones. They lost Pretty Deadly, Grayson Waller. They lost Indus Share. Um, Chance and Carter, they lost Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, and the NXT Women's Champion Indy Hartwell, um, just the name, and JD McDonough. That, that was another one I couldn't, uh, I forgot. And then there's a few other ones as well um, that were like free agents, like Zion Quinn, Von Wagner. Um, but anywho, we're, um, with the matches they got set on the card, I believe that they're going to they, that NXT is going to deliver once again like they always do. So uh, we're going to get into the six matches that are on the card. But before we do that, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. Um, doing these things will help get this channel, uh, you know, more recognized in the algorithm. It will also open up more opportunities for me to do uh, more thing, you know to more opportunities to engage with all of you um i do got big plans for this channel especially with um with how i do how i do uh my wwe videos going forward um i would i mean i'd like to try to do like a panel kind of uh discussion uh about the events um and kind of make this pr the prediction videos um not just my opinion um, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers, so like, comment, subscribe, uh, join the raid, welcome to the village. And one other thing I also want to mention is that, um, when it comes to these prediction videos, these are my opinions and my opinions alone. It is absolutely okay to have a difference of an opinion. You may think a little different th differently than me. Um... We are all, you know, the one thing with wrestling fans is we all have our favorites that we cheer for. We also have our, our uh, not so favorites that we boo out of the building. And that is okay. Um, so if you, if you disagree with anything that I say here, I would say respectfully make your case in the comments section below. Uh, because I would love to know what you all think. Because there might be something that you know that I miss that someone else might be might think of. And when it comes to the direction that WWE is going with their storytelling, and, and that's always the thing with prediction videos is that I could be right, I could be wrong. You know, there are things that you're not going to take into account, like surprises and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna, so let's get into this, shall we? Uh, first match. Alright, so the first match, uh, we're gonna talk about on the card is Dragon Lee versus Noam Dar for the Heritage Cup. Now, before I get into my prediction for this match, I do need to explain what the Heritage Cup is and how different this match is gonna be compared to any other match that happens. So the Heritage Cup has special rules. Um, and it's, uh, it's a Heritage Rules match, as well, and but it has another name, and that is uh, British Rounds. So, and it's a match that pretty much it's a more known in uh, Europe. What it is is um, think of a uh, think of a wrestling pro wrestling match, kind of like a boxing match in a way where you compete in rounds of competition so a heritage cup match has uh six rounds of uh, you know six three minute rounds and you have a 10 and you have a 10 second 
uh, water break intermission, uh, water break in between. Now, these rounds are conducted like any normal match, you, you know. But the one that, one unique aspect about this is, is that there's a two out of three falls uh, uh, stipulation in here. So let me explain how this works. So wrestlers will wrestle for three minutes. Um, if nothing happens in those three minutes, then it goes to the next round. Now, say in the second round, um, Dragon Lee scores a pinfall on Noam Dar. The instant he scores that pinfall, regardless of how far they are into the round, the round ends. And then, you know, water break, and then it goes to the third round. So then, no, then Dragon would have to win another fall in order to win the match. So, as I said, so it's best two out of three, six rounds, three minutes each. Um, so that's what makes this match very uh, interesting. And, they, and with this type of match, they definitely focus more on the scientific aspect of pro wrestling in, compared to a lot of crazy spots or just senseless, just senseless hardcore violence. It, so th it, they do really focus on the ground, on the uh, the scientific technical aspect of it, and that's what, and that's what makes this uh, these type of matches very unique. Um, this type this match was a staple on NXT UK when that was still around, and I'm pretty sure that. When NXT Europe comes into play, like they're planning to do, that the Heritage Cup will uh, be a part of that. Now, the one thing I wish that they would do is, instead of a trophy, make a title belt. But that's just me being a traditionalist. And some people might like the trophy, and that's fine. I would say make the trophy an annual tournament to determine a number one contender. Kind of like the Dusty Rhodes tournament. Um, but anyway... So that's pretty much the explanation for this match. Um, I'm kind of leaning that, you know, with Dar holding the title as long as he has, and, you know, I, I think that Dragon Lee would benefit greatly from this. So I'm going to say Dragon Lee will take this match. Um, they could have, because the way I mean, the way I see it is that they could probably have Noah M. Dar being overconfident, um, and Dragon Lee catching him su uh, by surprise in two rounds. So I, I think Dragon Lee could will take this one. That is my prediction. Um, will it hurt my feelings if Dragon Lee does not win the, win the the Heritage Cup? No, because Dar is such a good heel. He he's annoying. He knows how to bend the rules. So it wouldn't shock me if Dar, you know, do, you know, does something underhanded to get it to, you know, steal a victory. But um, I'll just, I'll say for this, uh, Dragon Lee will win the Heritage Cup. All right, next match. Okay, next match on the card we're looking at is Julius and Brutus Creed, the Creed Brothers versus Ga uh, Gallus members Wolfgang and Mark Coffey with the NXT Tag Team titles on the line. Um, so this one is pretty straightforward. Um, I believe that Gallus is going to retain, and a lot of it's going to be due to outside chicanery. Um, look, you know, wherever Mark and Wolfgang go, Joe Coffey is going to be... No be Somewhere not far behind, so I do believe that there's going to be uh, some interference from him, kind of like what happened at Stand and Deliver. However, um, with all things considering, uh, there is another factor that needs that is that plays into this match. That being uh, Tony D'Angelo and uh, uh, Stax Lorenzo. Um, they got a beef with Gallus. Uh, right now they're playing the angle that Tony D'Angelo got taken into by the police for questioning. And Stax made an a offer to the Creed brothers to be in their corner and they turned him down. So I would not be surprised if Stax and D'Angelo make an appearance in this match and they get into it with Gallus. Um, which will set up Gallus defending against D'Angelo and Lorenzo. Uh, well, now, with that being said, I do believe that this match is just 
um, I, you know, just to fill just to fill a spot. So I do believe that Gallus will retain. Um, they are doing pretty solid right now as a heel team. So I, I think they're going to continue their run. I, I don't think it's going to end right now. All right, uh, next match. All right, next match on the card is the triple threat match for the NXT North American Championship with Wesley defending against Tyler Bate and Schism's Joe Gacy. Um, this is a this is one of those matches that they can go any angle and not be wrong on. Um, Gacy is a such a man, mastermind manipulator heel that it would not surprise me if he won the title and you know brought that home to schism and then schism would um def you know interfere in his matches um and then we all know that you know Lee and Bate have had kind of a, a friendship that a friendship lately but then you know, when Bates said, yeah, I want a challenge for the title, Lee took it as a slight, and it said, how can I trust you, and all that stuff, which I don't get, because, you know, you could still be friends and still and still compete when a title's on the line. So, you know, I don't get why Lee's upset there. Um, but, so, here's what I'm, and I'm going to offer a, for a theory when it comes to my prediction. I'm going to say Tyler Bates going to win the North American title. The reason I say that, and this is my theory, considering Wesley's behavior lately, that it could be possible that Wesley turns heel and then him and Bates start feuding. That's where I'm leaning. That's where I'm leaning to. Um... Because I think that would make a great rivalry, uh, you know, Lee and Bate, with Lee turning heel and then you know, kind of, and then him getting a, going a different direction with his character. I mean, it might be what Lee needs to really move to, really move forward. I mean, he's done a great job as North American champion. I mean, how many, you know, he's been in like so many triple threat and. Uh, you know, triple threat, fatal four ways, fatal five ways, what, what not, defending the title against everyone. I mean, he's had a phenomenal run as North American champion. Um, but I think, you know, Tyler Bate would make a great North American champion, and I think Wes Lee could, uh, could go heel on this. And, it, and that would be, like I said, I, I think that would be... Uh, the, probably the best angle to go, although they can go, you know, or they can, or better yet, Lee can retain and Tyler Bate turn heel. It, it's a possibility. Um, you know, it would be shocking if Bate turned heel, and I think um, that would definitely help Bate in the long run. But so either we're going to see a heel turn or we're going to see a already established heel get better so but in this case i'll say tyler Bate to win the title only for wesley to turn heel all right next match okay so this next match on the card is probably going to be the most violent and the most hard-hitting match on the card because you got two heavy hitters uh in this match and the level of violence and brutality that these two are going to bring is going to blow the roof off the damn place in off of uh, the Sangha Center in Massachusetts. It's going to be Dijak versus Ilya Dragunov in a last man standing match. No, for those that do not know what a last man standing match is, it's pretty much a match where you have to beat your opponent so badly that they cannot stand up to uh, before the count of 10 before the rest count of 10 and uh the things that these guys are gonna do to each other i mean i, I can only imagine i'm pretty sure still steps will be involved i'm pretty sure tables will be involved i'm pretty sure it's gonna they're gonna brawl all over the arena it, it, it's i mean and, and the fact that they can and these two can also 
absorb so much punishment. I, I mean, it, it's going to be amazing to see. And this is one of the matches that I am absolutely looking forward to because... And, and I do think Dragunov is going to win this match. Uh, that is my prediction here. Um, Dragunov is the uh, is the guy who uh, he's he's pretty much Rocky. He can take the hits. He can you know be like Captain America and say I can do this all night. And yeah, I mean if you think back to when Dragunov won the uh, NXT. Uh, United Kingdom Championship from Gunther uh, when they had that match I mean holy shit the things Gunther did to Dragunov uh, it it, it amazed you know I, it, it blows my mind that you know Gunther not, not Gunther that Dragunov wasn't as serious wasn't serious as, uh, as seriously hurt in that match but, um, and, and I think that's the one thing that fans love about Dragunov is that he will go out there, uh, run through everybody, and, t you know, he can, he, he can be hit with a missile and he would still keep coming at you. And, and that's the type of person Dragunov is. And I'm not, and Dijak, I mean, Good lord. I mean, some of the matches I've seen him have with Keith Lee and uh, the late Brody Lee. Uh, some of the best matches I've seen on the card. Um, and with his uh, Justice heel character that he's been, I, I think Dijak's firing on all cylinders. I don't think this will hurt Dijak in any way. But I do think that Dragunov is going to retain... Uh, not retain, uh, is going to win. There's no title on the line in this, but I do think Dragunov will come out on top in this one. Alright, next match. Now, here's one of those matches that came about as a result of the WWE draft. Um, Indy Hartwell, who was the current NXT Women's Champion at the time, was drafted to Monday Night Raw. As a result of that, she was forced to relinquish the NXT Women's title before she went up to the main roster. Now, because of that, they held a eight-woman tournament to determine who will challenge, who will compete to win the vacated NXT Women's Championship. And we have come. We are down to two: Lyra Valkyria and Tiffany Stratton. Um, this one's a very straightforward uh, prediction for me. I, I am sure in my gut as who, who it is that's going to take this. I like Lyra Valkyria, and I do think that she could be an NXT Women's Champion at some point. I do not believe it is her time. I believe Tiffany Stratton, who has been on a roll... Uh, especially in her heel persona. I think she's developing uh, very well. Uh, and I think right now it is her time to become NXT Women's Champion. Um, you know, and she can have, you know, the matches she could probably have with Roxanne Perez, um, probably you know, with Gigi Dolan, um, Lyra Valkyria again. Um, I, I think. You know, Tiffany Stratton is going to make a great NXT Women's Champion. This is the type of thing that will definitely help uh, catapult her up. Because I think she's got that Grayson Waller uh, heat that, you know, uh, that, you know, that he likes to go after. Um, and she has it. Uh, she's the female version of that. Just not as loud and as braggadocious. I mean, yes, she can be a bit of a narcissist. But that's what works for her. So uh, in this case, uh, for me, this is very straightforward. As much as I'd like to see Lyra win the NXT Women's title, I think it's Tiffy time. I, I truly do think that it's uh, Stratton will come out on top in this one. All right, next match. Last but certainly not least, we have the NXT Championship on the line 
with the champion Carmelo Hayes defending against the former champion Braun Breaker. Now, uh, this one's a, a, interesting in the fact that Braun Breaker turned heel after Stand and Deliver. So he is now the role of the bad guy in this case. Um, it's crazy how Carmelo Hayes, who I thought would have been the heel in uh, their match at Stand and Deliver, would be the face in that match. And he came out on top. A little bit of chicanery from uh, Trick Williams, but nonetheless, Hayes is the champ. Um, I get the feeling that Hayes is going to retain, um, but it would not shock me if Breaker does win. And the reason why I say this is because of one factor, that being Trick Williams. Um, I've said it before, and I do believe the hints have been there for a long time that they could have Trick Williams turning on Carmelo Hayes. And this would be the best place to do it because they are in Boston, Massachusetts, and for, to my knowledge, it is actually uh, Carmelo Hayes' real-life hometown. Um, I don't know where they, he would... Yeah, so I think, yeah... You know, I haven't. I never paid attention to when where um, they said he was billed from, but I do believe yeah that he is from Massachusetts. So you know, having him lose the title in front of his hometown because of a heel turn, that would so that would be you know great storytelling. And but um, it would also, but they could also have trick turn on him later down the road which is what which is what I think is going to happen because um Carmelo has been champion now for about a month now yeah he because he, he won the title back at stand and deliver which would have been so he, he's been champion for two months now because he, he won the title at stand and deliver which was uh, the night, or the uh, right before, uh, it was the day of day uh, WrestleMania Day One, so that was like April second, I think. So yeah, so he won the title back at the beginning of April. So he's held the title for two months. Um, I don't think that they would do Carmelo dirty like that by having him be a flash in the pan champion. But, I mean, WWE has done crazier things, but if they're going to do that, they need to do it right. And I think Trick Williams would be the way to go, because then it would give him heat, it would create shock value, it would create a shock factor moment. Um, if that's the way they're going to go, then Trick needs to turn on Hayes. So... But I, but for this, but I don't think that they're going to do him dirty, as I said. So my prediction for this match will be Carmelo Hayes to retain. And there you have it, everyone. That is the card for Battleground, uh, which will be tomorrow um, on Peacock at 8 p.m. E uh, Eastern Time. Um, I, I truly believe NXT is going to. Uh, deliver again. No doubt in my mind on that. Um, so yeah, so that w so and with that, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, let me rephrase what I said at the beginning of the video. My opinions are my opinions alone. Um, we are all, you know, we are all wrestling fans. We all have the right to cheer for who we want. We also have the right to boo who we want. Uh, and, and, you know, we're not always going to agree, but uh, if you do disagree with or have a different take than what I do, feel free to, and I, let me stress this again, respectfully uh, place it in the comment section down below. Uh, I would love to hear what you all think, because uh, like I said, you might know something that maybe, maybe I haven't thought of. There is, you know, I mean, that's the beauty of predictions. You don't know what's going to happen. 
and we're not, you know, I'm not exactly a clairvoyant person. I've been wrong before on these. Um, but yeah, so um, again, you know, comment down below if you have a different take than what I do. Um, also, like, comment, like, comment, you know, like, subscribe, and smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. Um, doing these things will help get this channel noticed more noticed in the algorithm. It will open up more opportunities and abilities for me to engage with all of you. Um, I've got big things planned for this channel, especially when it comes to my WWE coverage. Um, I'd like to do start, you know, turning my predictions, uh, you know, my WWE videos into more of a forum, a more of a uh, roundtable uh, type thing. Uh, you know, get some of my WWE friends together, and we will, and we can discuss what we think will happen. Um, that's something that's in the works right now. When we get it done, we'll go forward with it. I make no guarantees on when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen, but uh, it is something that I am striving to striving and working towards. Um, yeah, so join the raid and welcome to the village, everyone. All right. With that being said, this is your mighty chieftain, Salty Viking, reminding you as always to live brave and free. Fight tooth and nail, and you all have a glorious Viking weekend. I will catch you in the next video. Enjoy NXT Battleground. Later.